Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Congress to blame for lack of balanced budget, Trump budget director Mick Mulvaney says. President Trump has, for now, given up on balancing the federal budget in the next 10 years, and Congress is to blame, his budget director said Monday, according to the Wall Street Journal. Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney told reporters that legislators didn't make any of the large structural changes he said last year were needed if the administration were to have a chance of reigning in the federal deficit. At his confirmation hearing in January 2017, Mulvaney called for fundamental changes in the way Washington spends and taxes. No one can say the president doesn't take this seriously. He is making tough choices, but he's doing it in a smart way. Instead of following his advice, Mulvaney said Monday, Congress pounded the hell out of me. Unlike last year's budget plan, the fiscal 2019 blueprint unveiled by the Trump administration on Monday does not seek to balance the budget over the next decade. Combined with a newly passed spending deal and sweeping tax cuts, the budget would see the federal deficit once again rising past $1 trillion in the near term. But the pivot should not be interpreted as a fundamental shift, Mulvaney suggested. When a questioner at the briefing referred to Mulvaney as a one time deficit hawk, he shot back. Insisting he is a still time deficit hawk, thank you. Late last year, Mulvaney suggested to Fox News Chris Wallace that budget deficits can be necessary to spur long-term growth. If we simply look at this as being deficit neutral, you're never going to get the type of tax reform and tax reductions that you need to get to sustain 3% economic growth," Mulvaney told Wallace. We really do believe that the tax code is what's holding back the American economy. The budget chief said Monday the fallback should not reflect on Trump. No one can say the president doesn't take this seriously, Mulvaney said. He is making tough choices, but he's doing it in a smart way. It's not hypocritical, he added. It's simply adjusting to the Washington, D.C., that we live in.